G'day, good evening and welcome everyone, viewers, to ASRNZ's official broadcast of the 2021 ROC GT4 series brought to you by Superior Joint Sealing, ABC Tech and Zero Vision. Tonight we'll see the boys at Imola for the final round of the series and of course I'm late and uh, the boys are already sitting on the grid. We will talk some points as... Um, the guys go around but uh, I'm Davo and as always I'm joined by good mate farmer g'day mate uh, late as usual sorry brother <laughs> See? yes yes g'day Davo g'day <laughs> final round you think I would have had it right by now wouldn't you yeah oh, we did mate we, we were ready we were ready we were early uh, would we, you believe and um, we were a little malfunction there right at last minute Davo but we're here mate we're here we're, we're here focused. We're here, but there is things to talk about. So we were trying to get in early because uh, as we see the boys roll off, uh, you can't see it, but we're going to talk about points just quickly as these guys do a, a formation lap. Yeah, just quickly, mate. Just uh, really just the top four. I think this being the last round, mate, this is, uh, this is obviously for those podium positions in the champ. So uh, real good battle tonight between Glenn, uh, John McDonald and Glenn. Obviously, for first and second there, it's yes. very tight, mate. Seven yes. points difference. And the Nick McIndo, Jake McCalla battle there. Yep. Two points yep. in it for the last spot on the podium. Yeah, the that's, that's even closer. So yep. That's another close one, Davo. So, yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. And, and we know that throughout the week, John McDonald, I think, has talked to both of you and myself and said he's uh, let his, uh, his uh, intentions clear to made his intentions clear he to both has, of us. Mate. He, he is. Has, he, he will be chasing coming. Glenno. He is told. Yeah. He's, so. he's rung Glenn and told him he's coming for him. He's coming for him. Yeah. So it's yeah. on. He's let everybody know about that. It so is on. We're going to be watching that. Um, yeah, and following up, we've got Steve Belling in uh, fifth position there, Farmer. Yeah, look, reasonably tight there. Uh, Aaron Enright and Pete. Four, six, and seven. We've got Ashley Bedeker in eighth, Brad Robinson in nine, and um, I believe a podium or even a race winner there, Maxwell Hawkins in P10, mate. So, yeah, there you go. Still some, uh, you know, still some real estate to race for, mate. Oh, absolutely, um, absolutely. Always is here at ASR. We will be trying to calculate the points through out the two races tonight to yes. give you an overall outcome yes after the stream i've got two abacuses here davo yes he's got the dual abacus uh, dual abacus. A mode enabled and uh the the beads will be uh, flicking as we see the boys just slip through into the final sort of complex of corners we will go to live stream. Yeah, the boys just stood on their uh, precision lap there, Davo. Yes. Uh, more with the tyres, no seen the, the two guns that we're looking for here, one and two in the chamber, 10 and 11 on the grid, so side by side each other from the back. Yep. John needs seven points. Uh, he does, he does. If he equals Glenn, he will win on count back. Yep. Oh, it can go the other way. It's a bit of an arse, Dave. And, and I think Jake needs two, does he? And Jake, and, yeah, Jake and Nick, also side by side on the grid too, Dave. So those As we are see right, right in front of these guys. Go to Helicam as they form up. Second row of the Sleep Redigar. Yeah. Yeah, they're all nice in formation there, Dave. Looking good, looking good. Here we are, final round. Imola. I haven't gone yet, Davo. The ROC GT4 series. Long, long, long around, wait there for the boys as they go racing. Like I said, final round as they drop down here into the chicane. Oh, beautiful track this farm. Nice, yeah, clean stuff. Oh, someone oh, just got a bit oh, of a nick. Have we got another nick there. there. Oh, oh, no, there's some bad touch-ups there through the first so, sort of section of corners, mate. Yeah, it looks like Jake McKellar. Uh, is it Jake? 
might have been Aaron there just getting a bit of yeah, a Jake tickle, tickle gone there. Backwards, mate. Jake has gone backwards and Steve has gone backwards. Oh, As unfortunate, Devo. Aaron Enright out in front. Ashley Reddick. We might just try and drop back and have a quick look at that. I'll see if we can catch that. Let's have a quick look at that. A bit late for that. Yep, and I think it was. Pete Apsy that got tangled up in all of that uh, hoo ha there. Just yeah, quietly. I think the car of Lee McIndoe as well was well back. Got there. tangled up as well. Yeah, yeah, he was on row four, currently way back in the top place. So a couple of the boys getting called out there, mate, from that opening section. Of the Absolutely, track. yeah, quite a ah. quick little chicane, that first chicane. Aaron Erdogan out in first. Big uh, second that just starts to level out. Maxwell Hawking in third. Brad Roberts in the points, in the top 10, so he'll be taking Glenn Dwyer behind in fifth. Gunther Goins, John McDonald, Jake McKellar, and Steve Crossland. Haven't seen him whole season in ninth position. Pete Apsey in 10th. Steve Belling, 11th. He definitely got tangled up. Nick McIndoe in 11th. I, actually, I think that's Steve Melling out. Nick McIndoe in 11th. And he's Simpson in 12th. So there you go, people. Let's sit back, have a look at this. That Melling in the pits. I can't see Melling's car on track. Farmer, can you just have a quick scout for that? No, I can't see it either, mate. Can't see it either. It's super unfortunate. So he was obviously the one that's got nicked into the fence there. Very easily done on the uh, opening lap in that chicane. As we see Ashley Redigo just holding down a nice solid second there. He's got Aaron to chase. And um, Maxwell Hawking's right behind him, which is a, a formidable <laughs> challenger. Look, this is the final round, everyone. Round eight, Imola. Yeah, this is it, mate. There's no more to play for uh, after tonight, buddy. So both rates count big time. Oh, points. absolutely, absolutely. Brad Robinson, like I mentioned, in the um, in the top ten, uh, the new guy. I told you I'd stop calling you the new guy, but yes, new to the series, new to the uh, to the community, and uh, holding a um, a top ten position at the moment in the points and in fourth position in the race at the moment, so well done for Brad. Uh, yeah, Glenn, well done for Brad. Yeah, Glenn Dwyer's probably got, got his measure though and is, is heading towards Gunther Rowe and John McDonald, the two cars behind. I just wonder whether that John McDonald car might have been involved in that earlier incident. Jake McKellar, one to look out for. Now, Jake is two points behind. Oh, Mr. McIndoe, and who's that gun to? Is it gun? Is it, is it the green car? It's gun to, isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah. yes, mate, yes. Okay, so it might have been gun to. But, uh, yeah, Jake McKellar. Jake McKellar and, uh, and Nick uh, McIndoe. Got Crossy there as well, mate. Crossy come back to, uh, for race tonight for us, mate. Has good pace normally, uh, does cross here. Yeah, Pete Epsi and Mc... Mc... Oh, Nick's way back there, mate. He needs to challenge Jake, who was, uh, what, three he cars does. in front of him. He does. He'll be really focused on getting to that uh, black car of Jake McCallum, mate. Yep. Now he's got uh, Pete, Pete Epsi and Steve Crossland between him and uh, McCallum. So, you know, he, like I said, he'll be working hard for that. Just have a look at Nick's car. Um, you know, I think I think I put money on this man before as one to watch yeah, out we, for we have. He, he has a come from both him. But uh, the car of Aaron Enright is uh, actually warming away out front there, mate. And he has got himself a decent 2.8 second gap now on the rest of the field. A healthy lead. A healthy lead from Aaron. Uh, we will look up and have a look. Yeah, yet to have a win in the championship, mate. He's had two second places. Uh, has shown good pace and has a 
lot of bad luck. To, but could this be tonight? The night? Uh, it would be great it, to see him here, uh, on the top spot, mate. I wouldn't it? What? It. I think he deserves it. I he think he does, does too. Uh, like you said, we've seen him shine throughout the season, but uh, had some terrible luck and... Um, the pace has been there, hasn't it, on some of the tracks? Yes, and some of the, com- the and some of the That's combinations, you know, like because not all of the the car track combos have, have been to the liking of, of, of everyone. So, um, but yeah, sometimes he just shines. And look at look at him in the uh, in the Aston tonight. So yeah, nice work from Aaron. Keep it up, mate. Ashley Bedigan's got his hands full still. Ashley has got his hands full. Maxwell Hawkins right behind him in the air. Just look close at the back to of that. So run up over, uh, what's this, turn six up the top of the hill here, Farmer? Uh, yeah. Six-ish? Six-ish. <laughs> Seven's a hairpin at the end, up over the hill, possibly eight-ish. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking at eight there, and down to the bottom of the hill there, as you see Maxwell just applying the blowtorch on the back of Ashley. Very close there. And up to the Very tight racing, as usual, as the camera boys probably need another coffee. They can catch up a little bit quicker. But catch up a little bit quicker, <laughs> yeah. I was just watching the cars uh, before over that chicane, Dave. They're really soaking up the bumps quite well, actually. Not Aren't too they? much uh, unsettling sort of happening inside the cabin. So Yeah, typical, uh, typical should, Aston, I suppose. Typical Aston. It? should be quite <laughs> nice and probably quite nice to drive. I'm sure these guys are probably really enjoying it. Hawkins right up under the wing of Ashley, the only thing. And I yeah. think also in the background there's yeah, a piece of battle going on too, mate. So. Looking out of the back of Brad Robinson's car, who has the two um, championship leaders here. First and second, Glenn Dwyer and John McDonald. I've just seen just Maxwell Hawkins just take their position from Ashley, mate, in the P2. Nice just work have a quick look there. At that. Nice work there from Maxwell. Yeah, got tucked well up underneath uh, Ashley's wing there, the rear wing of Ashley's car. Got the right inside line into the chicane here, Farmer. Yes, did. Um, pretty well, just like textbook pass here. It was textbook one, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah, it? So, absolutely. Yeah, nice work there. Ashley didn't have much to say, and we'll just carry on behind now. And uh, as we probably should just go back to this. That a little yes, thing on, going on. I think so. Glenno's got past. Glenno's got past, and uh, now we've got he's got John McDonald to contend with. Let's just look out of the back of Brad Robinson's car again and just see the anger <laughs> that he's got to deal with here. <laughs> now we know John McDonald wants Glenn's spot. So, well, he, well, he wants a stroke, doesn't he? More than he a does. Spot. And uh, he's two cars in front of him, and that's not the right equation for John at the moment. No. So now you know John's going to be cranky. He's going to want to get on he that. He will be cranky. And, yes, he um, will be in a little bit of a hurry, won't he, uh, Dave? You would think so. You'd think so. And as he just looks for that extra little bit of pace on the exit there and picks up the throttle, he just it doesn't look like he's actually quite, quite found it, has he? As Glenn, Glenn O. He was showing great pace of practice uh, early on, Dave. I thought he might have had a little bit of something there, but uh, I guess when you're all in the same car, yeah. um, getting past <laughs> each other is another, another story, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it is. Yeah, we talk about it all the time. It's, 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 it's all good and well to catch up, you know, and get behind someone, but then to overtake is, is just another big step and, a, and step, yeah. yeah you got to go to the next level there so uh, and it takes some laps sometimes to to make it happen so um, oh and Ashley just losing out a few spots there mate as he's getting a little bit trained oh yeah a little bit out of control there was that John having a little sniff here mate he's going to have the inside into the next turn if he's uh, brave but no no it carries on so he might just oh so we've got, let's just go back and have a look. I just, 
don't want to look back at the moment, but Ashley, oh, obviously... Oh, here's a mistake. There's a mistake, mate. There's a mistake from Brad Robinson, and John slipped past that car. I think that needed to happen, and I'm sure the pressure from uh, the uh, championship second-place getter was all it needed. Headlights are blazed with John. Just look at Ashley as he just sort of recovers from a little bit of a faux pas. He's let Gunther... He, actually, he's letting... Looks like he's just let uh, Jake McKellar and Nick Macken go as well. So they're, yeah, they're chasing yeah. chasing the, the third position. So they're third, fourth at the moment. So, and and we did, look, and so we can see Macando right behind Jake now. Yeah, he's caught up to Jake. So. He's gained, that, he's gained those two spots that he needed to. And that's on. That's a, that's a battle to the end right there. That and is. Ashley, once again, just lifting down the straight to let people through, David. Okay, so he's let the Crossland, actually, the, uh, the ring in. He's let the uh, the wild card through too, so he has let the wild card through. So that would suggest something's uh, maybe not, not, not gone, right at the cockpit, is it? Yeah, know? gone awry there. So um, yeah, and only Pete Apsey, Kenny Simpson behind him. Uh, Steve Melling, I notice, is back out on track, which is good to see Farmer. But really, we've got to look. Glenn Dwyer, John McDonald. Um, top two running in the championship. This yeah, is the this is the final four, round. Aren't they? So yes. these guys have come up to Maxwell Hawkins, looking to dispatch him. John's looking to uh, somehow get one up on Glenn. He goes Maxwell. Oh, into the Maxwell! Era. John needs to get past him. Oh. That's what needs to happen, Davo. He can't is, get caught behind him. Is Maxwell leaving down space? Down John Boy. Get down. It down. looks so messy. Oh, he's not going to get it, Davo. It looks awkward as hell, and we see again McDonald not getting that at a pass. He's not able to carry that through with Glenno's. Maxwell puts pressure Maxwell straight back on Glenn. Massive pressure on Glenn. <laughs> looking to get it done back on him to the uh, Ravaza. The Ravaza. Yes, down Davo. to the start finish. <laughs> the Ravaza. <laughs> it does sound very. It's got, a, it's got a cool name, isn't it? Very European. Okay, as we see the boys, and look at them chasing each other's slip from the helicam. Aaron in right now with 5.8 second lead. Uh, you've got uh, the series leader and uh, fast paced guy, Glint Drewer, coming for you. Second with place getter. 16 minutes yes. to go. The second That's place right. getter is hounding the back of him. And, John having a good look on Maxwell he's, down he's here. He's got to get it done on Maxwell. Oh, Surely Maxwell's going to give him the space oh, here's the somewhere. Here, here it is, David. Oh, something's going to happen here. He's down the inside here. Yeah, he's he's down the it. inside he's here. Great vision from the helicam there, actually. That was a, probably a perfect place to just view that from. As McDonald gets it and runs up the hill into eight or nine, not sure. I didn't, I didn't take notes this afternoon. Yeah, two days here, Davo, <laughs> uh, through the Paratella there. We go down into a corner that I can't pronounce. Uh, through 9 and 10, <laughs> they call this little... Uh, so that's 9 and 10, everyone. <laughs> that's 9 and 10. Uh, and then up, and up, up, up to the chicane. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So sweet. Yeah. Watch these guys just roll through here. But we've really got to just get back and just have a quick look at this McKellar McAdo battle. So these boys just run through the chicane. Maxwell that will no doubt just stop leaning on McDonald and let him take care of Glenna. Let's get back down to McKellar. So McAdoo. currently we've got the so, McIndo car two points ahead of the McKellar car. So he's one point he's, behind he's him the at the leader. Moment, yeah, know. that's right. So, so he needs to finish <laughs> no worse than right here. You know, if that yeah. Jake McKellar car gets one more car in front of him, um, that's that's one too many points, even. isn't it? That's yeah. one too many points to be giving away, yes. And that was a great run, little run here, actually. He has got a really awesome run. Oh, I think, he's um, on the right Gun, side, mate. He's, I think he's going to get this. Well, he's down the right side, like you said, and that's the which is actually the left side, but that's the, the, side, that's but the side that he wants to be yes, on. The Gunther. side of the track. Gunther is just probably just going a little bit of spanner in the cogs there and just upsetting these guys and they run on 
the overall championship here, but Gunther. Yeah, great pass there from Nick. Nick looks strong, and uh, Gunther Ooh. looks rattled. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go right around the outside, Davo. Can he do it? Crossland uh, on the inside. Too tight a corner. Crossland on the inside, we've got... That was McKellar. A little bit of a wriggle at the hairpin. Yeah, look, what Jake doesn't need right now is cars between him and that uh, white car Definitely not, front of definitely him. not. Um, Gunther very wide. Let's have a look. Gunther's car, look, he's got... These guys want to keep moving, don't they, uh, Farmer? That the, car back looks, there, McKellar, looks McKellar. very loose, mate. McKellar makes the move. That's, oh yes, he's gone round. He's gone. Does he get it stopped, Davo? He has. Great move there from Nick. Yeah, nice work, nice work. But uh, we see there. Do you see that that uh, Crossland's actually snuck, yes, snuck so past yeah. McKellar there? Just we, having a little look across his car. At the moment, here he goes. They it pan out wide. Oh, this I is I think tight. he's going to get Gunter through here, mate. He is. Got to get man. Gunter. Yeah, well, I mean, look at this, they look like oh, they're driving 80. going to get him straight They, up, they look like they're driving 80, 86s, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, good little battle there between those two. Excellent battle, excellent and battle. And now there's two cars, though, Dave, between uh, Nick and Jake at the and, moment. And so Jake really mate, gets it out at the moment here. Absolutely, we, and mate, we just talked about it, didn't we? He doesn't even need one car between them because no, it'll muck the points exactly. up, and now he's got two. It's on. You just got to really quickly pop up the front here. Yeah, the just Glenn, checking that out there. Glenn Dyer. Dyer, 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 Dyer. Dyer. My, my timing's just flashing at me, just going, look up the front, look up the front. John McDonald with the heat on the back of that. Oh, um, you know it. These guys are 5.3 seconds behind Aaron at the moment. And they're circulating only around three tenths or so quicker a lap, so they're not going to catch Aaron at this rate. They're going to have their own little battle, mate. And, and I think really Glenn's got to, bigger things in his mirror, hasn't he, mm. to worry about than to go forward. Um, he knows if he can finish in front of that 27 car of John McDonald, then uh, you know that's one step closer to the champ being sign up. So yeah, yeah. Tom yeah, torn, torn between two good mates here, uh, Davo. Uh, <laughs> you know, Glenno doing it for the comps team. He is, he um, is. And, uh, of course, both good uh, friends and mates of, of ours both. Oh, yeah, Davo oh and, absolutely, uh, absolutely. You know, it's hard to know who to cheer for, isn't it, sometimes? <laughs> it really Look, is. At the end of the yeah. day, as much as they do too, we just want to see this great racing, and, and these guys will definitely deliver in that department. We might just have a quick look back just quietly at Jake McKellar, Nick McIndoe battle that his cars have spread somewhat unfortunately farmer they have a Jake's obviously advanced forward one spot there past the car of Glitter Row so yeah the That's car of so. Crossland is in the middle there now the wild card yeah yeah could be the one to upset the points between these two yeah um, noticing yeah. also that the Ashley Medican car has got back on pace, mate, and is uh, starting to circulate at a normal rate of knots again. Ah, lovely, lovely. After and leading the field through earlier, mate. Okay, yeah. and starting to make some gains on Ashley Redegar. Look, we've really got to pop back up the front here again. I'm sorry for saying that again. That gap between John and Glenn is uh, super close, isn't it? It, it is, it, it is it, staying it, close. It is our tightest gap on track at the moment, Dave. Yep, so what we get on the on our little data uh, screens here, people, is uh, we just get these little flashing times between the cars, and uh, if they get tight, we really need to go and have a look at it, and um, this is tight at the moment. It's 2.2 2 seconds, it shows on my screen. Yes, 0.2 oh, seconds. Oh, as McDonough goes Oh, John deep. deciding just to take a bit of a shortcut there, trying to make an advantage yep. there, Davo. Uh, probably not on purpose, mate. He's obviously got two deep on brakes there. And it's actually a couple of car lens, hasn't it? It has, yeah. it has. Let's have a look at yeah. that. Yeah. Look out of the back of Glenn Wise's car in there. That was down in the hairpin, I think it was. So, just get a quick replay on that. Yeah, I was thinking it was the chicane, Davo. 
Oh, it was the chicane. It was absolutely. You, I stand corrected. Oh yeah, yes. John. Well, deep under brakes there, and really almost took a base of action. He did. Back of his he car. did. He leaped. And, uh, <laughs> decided to take to the grass. <laughs> Easy to miss your mirror, is yeah. it? You miss your marker there, isn't it? Yes. Not that hard to see your markers when you're so close to a car like that. So, yeah, oh, definitely. And so we see that gives um, some breathing space, I suppose, for, for Glen, Glen O there. And um, uh, McDonald will have to push hard to get back over the next eight and a half or so minutes. So who's behind Glen O? Maxwell. Maxwell, I would say, was, would be quite happy to sit in uh, situ and just carry on what he's doing. But... Uh, Behind that, yeah, a little it's, it's starting to ramp uh, up. Yeah, so is. so now McIndoe, and we've been watching this McIndoe McKellar battle for clearly as they uh, chase down third position between the two of them. There's only two points between them, uh, but uh, oh, yeah, we look out of the back of Brad Robinson. I'm sure McIndoe wants to keep moving as quick as possible. Ooh, he, yeah, he does. And he, he's got that attitude about the It car does, over. doesn't it? That body yeah. language just shows, and, doesn't and, it? And, and he knows Crossy's about to take, right do there. something. Crossy's about to do something if he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's actually allowed Jake just to bunch it, up onto the back it, of that. It has, back hasn't too, it? So, it? Yeah. Um, you know, Jake will be hoping something unfolds in front of him as well that he oh, capitalise on. Yes, so. yes, go for the smoke, Jake. <laughs> You'll be right. Go for the smoke, yeah. <laughs> yes, that was classic uh, rule of thumb there. Oh, so, it's probably just, just wide onto the A little bit wide there. there. May and we see, the run. and it has definitely given Jake the run has, down the inside yes. there as they pick up on the helicam. Nice. Um... Jake Ooh, definitely and needed that. Two down the outside of Brad Robinson and rounds him up, Devo, under brakes. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, what a move. That was unreal. That was good good stuff from Nick there. Let's have, have a uh, quick look at that again because that is. Have um, the mindset to realise that that was in the middle, Devo, yeah. Yeah, that's just a, quite a specky little move there, actually, from, from Nick. So let's just have a quick look at that again. Brad, Brad just moving to cover the inside to, line to cover. there, and, and, and yeah. Nick, Nick just decided he'd just carry his momentum right around, mate, and just carry on right around him. Just drove right around him. Yeah. And, um, and got, got quite comfortably back inside, managed to get day picks for the corner, so yeah, excellently yeah. well uh, executed move Executed. There. Now, that put uh, all sorts of pressure on the back of um, Bradley. It did, because the Jake McKellar car also has managed to slip through there, mate. Yeah. And all of a sudden, and left, back on between those two. Yeah, and it sort of left um, the Crossland car to battle it out with uh, Bradley there. So, um, although a, a healthy little battle, Brad also in the top ten in the championship, so will be looking for any gain in position as well. So back to the Nick Mackendo, Jake McKellar. It's on again. What's... But what's, at least they've managed to pull away from those two cars behind them now, Davo. Uh, just a little bit of a breather there. I think Nick does seem to have uh, the measure of Jake uh, in actual lap times there at the moment. Uh, best laps round. Uh, Nick's a good four tenths quicker than Jake, so... Oh, OK. I think he knows. I think he knows he's got it in him. But and five minutes to go. Yeah, uh, yeah, five minutes to go. And and like we talked about earlier in the race, it's okay to catch up and get right up under his wing. But then you've got to pass him, don't you, mate? Oh, exactly. That's right, Davo. Yeah. And uh, we've actually, yeah. I mean, watching that car of Jake McKellar tonight, I actually went back a couple of spots. It's come forward a couple of spots again yeah. now. So. Almost like it's got stronger at the end of the race for uh, yeah, Jake. Yeah, it definitely has, uh, doesn't it? So there could there could be something left in the tank there, Davo. John McDonald and Glenn is pretty status quo up there, buddy. Uh, and also, you know, even 
given the strength of the car towards the end of the round. Um, you know, look, you've got to keep the pressure up. And as you see him weave behind McIndoe's car, Jake McKellar, just looking to pressure that mistake. Um, that may be possible slight error in his braking or whatever and just uh, allowing him to get past. So. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Uh, it's what it's all about, isn't it? It's about trying to rattle the guy in front of you. Uh, just, you know, to put a bit of pressure on him, get it to his head. <laughs> yes. Force that error. Force the error. Force Dave, the error. Force it. Yeah. Yes, yes. We've got to have a look. Is this Aaron Enright with Glenn Dwyer? Uh, so Aaron's clearly made a mistake. He's 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 come back. Oh, David, to, he's come back to Dwyer and he's, he's come more than back. And, to, and, to, to oh, Manor, <laughs> he? in the clutters, in the teeth. Oh, I wonder what's gone wrong there with uh, with Aaron. With he Aaron. had this in the bag, mate. He really did. He had a good five and a half, six second gap there. Yeah, it was a fairly healthy, wasn't it? He just really could have just eased off, and but uh, who knows? I These can't help but happen. feel he's going to lose that spot, you know, Davo. I really... I, I, given yeah. the aggression given the aggression of the two boys behind him yes. chasing the championship, um, what, what have we got here? A little over two and a half minutes to go. What, that's two laps? Well, we're doing uh, minute 52, sort of minute 51 laps, so nearly yep. a two-minute lap. How much of this... The, these Watch boys this. have Watch still this. got... I think it's only going to be one to go after this, Devo. Aaron really needs to keep it there because I think after this there'll be one to go. Okay, oh, Aaron's... No. I think Leno through. He has. I've got to get back to McIndoe, Jake McKellar. That, that is actually getting quite close again. These guys are chasing down that third position and have battled it out for the last few rounds in the series and really stayed nice and close. They look like they've got a little bit of real estate between them at the moment. We'll get back to Aaron Ednight, John McDonald battle down the straight. Farmer, it's a drag race. Yeah, look, I think that uh, car of Aaron Enright just He's let moved him go. to the inside yeah. of the track there just to say, look, I know you two have been battling it out. Yeah. Go, go to it. I don't want to get involved. Please leave me alone. Yeah, I so, have this race in the bag. Yeah, one minute one, to go. Yeah. <laughs> one minute and 30 seconds to go. Yeah, he'd be there, mate. So, we get it. We get it, Aaron. But uh, we've been watching all season, brother, and uh, yeah, some nice start and stuff. But uh, yeah, John McDonald chasing Glenn Dwyer now down for first and second in the series. Not only first and second in the series, but first and second in the race at the moment. Aaron in third. You've got to drop back. You've got Nick McIndoe out in front of Jake McKellar. Again, status quo, isn't it, Farmer? The uh, boys, that are, the day, boys that are holding the position in the championship are finishing, aren't they, in their, uh, in their yeah. relevant positions. And, we do uh, need to take note of where they do finish, Dave. And I'm, I'm going to say that this could be the last lap, Dave. It's going to go down... To very the wire close, isn't on it? The clock. It's going to be very close. With, uh, 30, maybe, 33 seconds to go. Yeah, and um, about that of the lap left to go as well. I think I think it's going to end just before they hit the line, mate. Um, if the abacus is telling me so, it's yes, going to be about yes. eight seconds in. And the beads are already yes. are flicking. As we see, Glenn Dwyer go terribly wide in the second to last corner. John, if he was a little bit closer, may have been able to take advantage, but we see... Glenno come across. Glenno come across the first. And that's it, the chicken flag's out, Dave O. John McDonald, second. Okay. Aaron Enright, third. Glenn won. Oh, Glenn Nick McIndoe, Jake Oof. McKellar. Oof, there you go. There you go. Oh. Big five. Okay, bro, we got Ma this. Maxwell Hawkins in sixth. Steve Crossland in seventh. Nice work from Steve C Crossy just to come in there and, and have a crack. Straight off the bat, pulls it up in 17th, seventh, should I say. Brad Robinson eighth. 
He'd probably be thinking about his championship points at the moment too. Nice work from him. Ashley Bediger in ninth, went back a little bit there earlier in the race. Uh, Pete Apsey in tenth. Kenny Simpson in eleventh. Gunther O12. Steve Melling. Finally realizing his lap for the 13th farmer. How about that? Good racing, mate. It was good. It was good to mate, watch. Mate, there, there's some battles going on here. There's some proper points battles going on here, and it's hard not to watch it, people, because uh, those guys delivered. Those, the, the guys that with the points battles going on definitely delivered it in their performance tonight. So um, it is the last round. This is the last chance they've got, farmer. Yeah, that's right, mate. And I'm, oh, I'm looking at the beads left and right here, buddy. <laughs> I'm really trying to see what's up. Okay, uh, I'll let you work on that. Trying to get a little bit for the next one, but should we get someone in the booth, buddy? Okay. That, uh, let, our uh, you, you outstanding on, drive there. Yes, it was an outstanding drive, so let's go down Let me here. grab, let me grab Aaron down and congratulate him on or commiserate him on his third place uh, <laughs> as we thought he had it in the bag. But, we uh, did, well done, we buddy. did, well done, buddy. It's great to have you here at least. It's oh, good to be here, right? Geez, I had some pretty heavy breathing on the back of my neck, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened, mate? Because I was looking at your lap times and the amount to go, and I, we, we clearly had you that you had this race covered. Did you make a big error there? or? Um, no, I, I, I think, I think um, those two just upped their game. Oh. <laughs> to be honest, I think, uh, yeah, I, I didn't didn't really do anything particularly bad, and I was I was looking at it going, okay, yeah, I was holding a steady gap to Glenn, and then just all of a sudden, he was like, shit, he was gaining on he me. He was right and there. Leaps and bounce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so, okay. Um, actually, just hmm. looking at the lap times there, they were nearly a full second quicker than you on yeah. their best lap of the race. So. Yeah. Um, well, we did have a little bit of odds on you, mate, for the win. So. Um, uh, third place is still good. There we see you just decided to get out of it once one had gone past you. You let uh, John Boy through as well to have his battle. So. Yeah, well, I, I had a little bit of a wiggle there as well. And, um, yeah, a bit more fuel for the next race too, I think would be good. <laughs> oh, a little bit more weight in the car towards the end of it? No, oh, just, no, just if it had gone for another lap, I wouldn't have made it. So, oh, okay. Well, yeah, oh, well, so fine. she was that tight. Yeah. yeah, yeah definitely worth a little bit more fuel. Yeah, yeah, so, no. Oh, well, shot, bro. Um, you get another chance at it. Um, I guess up you go. You know, yep. you had that in the bag. Wow, well, have to and, know, yes. uh, <laughs> Let's see you fucking bring it home next one, won't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I can't yeah. argue with Farmer. <laughs> hey, if, if, you, if you say I can do it, I'll do it. Eh? You can do it. Of course you can do it, mate. I've had odds on you twice this uh, series. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and I've still got hope that you'll come through for us, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, no. well. All the best, mate. Hopefully, we'll see you back point. soon. Eh? Either yes, way, guys. we will yeah. be watching. So. We will be. <laughs> nice Good work, one. Bro. Thanks, Thanks, buddy. Guys. Excellent. User was moving okay, who have we got okay. next? I think we've we got, got a John couple Boy of, couple down of here. Yeah. John Boy, we're, uh, we are on a time uh, limit here, but um, quick word well done, Kizzy. Awesome race, great battle. Um, yeah, tight. Still one to go, mate. Still tight in the championship uh, yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, that's what you sign up for, those ones. Um, they, uh, the car was hooked up. It was really good. Fast car. Couldn't do much with it. Uh, bit of follow the leader there. Um, yeah, yeah, a little bit unlucky that one too there, mate. We saw a little bit of sort of stuff happen in front of you. And yeah, you actually yeah. had Glenn off the line, um, but he did manage to slip past you through that little incident, and that really was it, wasn't it? There was, yeah, there were cars was, checking up stuck everywhere. Behind him after that, so. Yeah, that's right. Unlucky to those. It was a hard-fought battle, though, buddy. It was a hard-fought battle. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, you've got to keep the, keep the, what is it, the foot on the jugular. Keep, keep pushing hard. Uh, yes. Yeah, um, he was struggling to breathe yeah. there before the race with, your, with the amount of pressure you had on him. So uh, yeah. keep it up, mate. Um, just worked it out. You're now 10 points behind him. Don't let that deter you. No, that's uh, all right. Anything yeah. can happen, bud. Anything can happen. Oh, look, mate. I'm just happy to be here racing racing here with uh, all of our mates. So that's yeah, all good. Shot, bro. Absolutely. All right. Oh, well, we'll see you back uh, after the next one, mate, because no doubt you'll even be on the podium or in here for the championship uh, for presentation. Sure. For so, sure. Uh, well done. Have another good race, buddy. We will be watching. All right. Thanks, guys.
Cheers, Be mate. The beer's on ice. Cheers. <laughs> Ah, uh, good stuff, good stuff, and we'll just whip down old mate here from channel. the comms team. Well done, buddy. Awesome drive there for P1. Congratulations. Ooh. Pretty nerve-wracking stuff, bro. Yeah, hey. yeah, pretty nerve-wracking. We were watching, then, we were watching closely. Obviously, uh, with the championship so close there. Um, stellar drive though. You kept it clean, mate. You just had good pace, so. Yeah, the car was, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, the car was rubbish for about 22, 23 minutes, mate. It only there got go. into the zone at the back end. I think we were yep. low 51s, but um, yeah, okay. had, to, had to defend the fast-charging John because he's, he's feeling it at the minute. So, um, yeah. And he, his, yeah, car he looked actually, his car looked actually pretty quick towards the end. We saw a couple of other cars that looked like they came on, mm. you know, like yeah, in different... Yeah, they do. Yeah, they, yeah, in different parts of the race, so um, yeah, there yeah. You the, go. the goalposts are shifting, so we've just made another <laughs> little change. Yeah, so, well, tweet. we can tell you you've got a ten-point gap now going into the final race. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. You know, you've all you've got it all but sign up, but but it's not over till it's over. Um, we do wish you well and the best. Yeah, cheers, and, boys. Uh, really appreciate what you guys have done this season too. Eh? I absolutely enjoyed watching it and. Um, yeah, we'll, right. we'll have you back to talk about that um, after the next one, mate. Um, obviously, you'll probably be in here a couple of times. Uh, have a bit of a yarn. Yeah. Well, know, he's, got his own, he's got his own seat over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, and, I don't know. and he's got a key I'm to the fridge. To he's got the key to the fridge tonight. as well. So. Yeah. yeah. We, got, we got a bit lucky at the start of <laughs> yeah. that one. There was a bit of drama in front of us. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Um, the, the we, lines um, might change a little, maybe not, I don't know. Nah. Yeah, well, we, we will be announcing the, uh, the series, the obviously preliminary prior to race control, but uh, at this stage, you would definitely be back talking to us later on after the next one. Mate, definitely, so. definitely. And we're on a time limit, so we must... We yep. must kick you out. We yep, must man, kick you out. Thanks, boys. Okay, Thanks, too buddy. easy, brother. We'll talk to you in 35 minutes. User was moved out of your channel. Shot, Debo. Thanks, viewers. Awesome, mate. We're going to take a very short break by the sounds of it, and um, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. We will be back. Thank you.
G'day everybody, here we are back for the final round of the uh, 2021 ASRNZ ROC GT4 series. The boys are actually sitting on the grid, we're at Imola, it's race two, Farmer. G'day mate, back again. Yes, I've just got, quickly got to just thank Zero Vision for all their tech support and stream related wizardry. Thank you very much Aztec for all your support over the year. ABC Tech for all the ASR and servers and all things just putting us online really for ABC Tech. They're awesome and superior joint selling again for their continued support all the racing here at ASR and said sponsorship wise we are just getting ready for a formation lap farmer have we you've had the abacus out throughout the intermission where are we at what's going on well <laughs> Davo where are we at we're at <laughs> uh, we're at uh, Glint there uh, 10 point gap over John McDonald uh, in P2 and the gap between Nick and Jake is uh, to three points Davo so oh. uh, favouring Nick there 475 yep. versus yep. 472 uh, so John with 10 point gain to do on Glenn big ask but the Jake and Nick battle there still only three points in it Davo going down to the wire in this last race wow this is awesome so 10 between Leno and JB, and we've got what three between McKellar and Magadai. Yeah, three, buddy. Yeah, so like it was <laughs> that's two. A, it's that, three, that, so that's on. Yeah, that one's on. on. And they finished um, nose to tail in race one. Look, they get to do it all again, has as it has been all the series, Farmer. This has been an awesome series for us. Um, you know, like reverse good racing. You know, same grid positions between racing one and two, short format racing. It's, it just ticks all the bloody boxes, mate. Yeah, it does, Devo. And, uh, been, uh, yeah, it has been great to watch, mate. Um, had a few punters come and go there, but uh, all in all, the regulars have stuck it out, and it's been a great series for us to, uh, to commentate on. Um, just keeping an eye on that Aaron Enright car, just to ah, quite yes. pick up where he started last time. So he had P1 there, so okay. uh, that would explain <laughs> how he was able to bolt so early uh, in that last race, Debo. So yes. uh, I, you know, we've told him, we've told him he needs to win this one. Uh, it's, and it's, he's got it's, it in him. We've given him a bit of self-belief, mate. It's, it's come from the about. farmer's mouth. Up your game, bro. Have some self-belief, bro. <laughs> it's a, you'll be surprised that it might just happen. Yes. You yes. can achieve it. You can achieve you it. You can achieve it, yes. But, uh, yeah, we did see some ups and downs throughout the race, actually, Farmer, and particularly between the McKellar and Macano car. Those guys had, you know, up to three or four cars between them throughout the race and, and still managed to finish... No still line. came down to the wire, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah so, so yeah. nice work from those guys. Uh, Steve Mellencar, too, uh, got super unlucky in that last race, too, so maybe Steve might be able to put it into the mix here. Um, Absolutely, that'd be he'll nice. He'll have to something see. to say. As boys get into formation, And we come round the final set of corners, uh, known as the Ravasa. Uh, the Ravasa. <laughs> as we go to Helicam. I hope I've got that right. Oh, now. look, and how long is this? <laughs> look, we, we usually make up our own names anyway. But um, how long is this wait time? Down at the start, finish line. Yeah, farmer. so they went well past the line last time too, Davo. Uh, before kickoff. Before kickoff, looking reasonably well gridded up front there. Yeah, no, looking nice, Davo, throughout the field. Still got another grid to go by the looks of it. This is race two. Here we go. Here we go. Race two, round eight, final round, people. Emma La. 
And I think Steve a little bit caught out there, mate. In Again. position, possibly a car or so. Gunther just looks like he's giving him a lot more space this time. It's probably helped uh, a few of the other boys at the back. Very nice, tidy start, though, Farmer. Yeah, nice, tidy opening. A couple of corners here, Davo. A lot better than race one. Everyone getting Absolutely. away here quite nicely. Yep. Um, oh, just watching that car of Glenn, the attitude's there. Ah. He, he wants it. He wants it. He does. Go, he mate. does immediately. And uh, we'll see that. I think from... Aaron Edright. Nice, strong lead there too, buddy. Uh, he, got he, it done off the line. So. He did, he did. Very reminiscent of... Oh, it started late. The last race, but it goes terribly wide over across the top of the skyline there. And down into the dip at the bottom of the hill. Tricky corner. That... Yeah, and so far, so good, Davo, on the same Yeah, lap. very, nice, very nice, driving tidy lap. From the whole field so far, mate. That is great to see uh, in our final race of the series. Yeah, Steve Melling uh, staying out of trouble there in sixth position. Had a little bit of an excursion back to the pits in the now, previous race. McKellar right behind McKellar. him in seventh. Yeah, and he's got a couple positions on uh, Nick McIndo there. So, you know, that's two points there out of the three that Jake needs. It is, it is. All, you know, right there on track already. So, yeah, uh, this could be a different race for these guys. And he needs that. And if we just see McKellar actually just look for that inside good. move. Look like Steve -o, isn't he? And yeah. we'll just stay on that, I think, actually, Farmer. Uh, McKellar definitely Steve needs that Steve pass. Steve staying well wide there, not... Uh, yeah, not trying to squeeze Jake uh, at all to keep him down low or anything there. Leaving, leaving him to it, and, and surprisingly, actually, because uh, these guys, it's far, Steve is probably too far back in the championship, but they were, they're, they're actually uh, the fifth and sixth in the championship, so uh, interesting and nice work, Steve O, letting that happen. Maxwell Hawkins has already got past Aaron Enright. We have got a melee behind the, the Enright car. Ashley Bettinger, Pete Apsey, Nate McKellar. Look at these guys starting to bunch, Farmer. Yes, it's starting to happen there. The Enright car there, uh, making a few little errors in the opening couple of laps here, David. Yep. He got it done off the line, but uh, you know he slipped back already. And we know we know how talented it, uh, Maxwell is too, with um, putting that early pressure on in the race and, and controlling it. And uh, he's clearly made that stick, I think, in this race too, mate. So yeah, and see, often Davo, you end up, um, you know, after a one race, you end up sort of a bit quick in the second one, don't you? So, yeah. you know, we, we might find that Maxwell's actually got the pace to stay here yeah, in, this, yeah. in this position, this race, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, I suppose you take some lessons from it, don't you? And um, the boys have been able to do that throughout this series um, right up until now, so it's awesome work. We see Maxwell take off out of Brad Robinson with Ashley Redegar right behind him. Chasing that slip, Pete Apsey trying to get down on the back of their Redinger car as well. Jake Keller. Now, was that McIndoe? It was, it was McIndoe putting a move on Melling. We'll go back and have a quick look at that. It was McIndoe down the inside of Melling. Melling's giving him, looked like he might have given him a little bit of space. Yes. I think Steve-O knows uh, yeah. what's, what's going McAdoo. on between those two yeah. guys. And so yeah. that's, that's the Glenn Dwyer, John McDonough car, right behind that whole situation there. But, yes, yeah, we just see that in the replay. McIndoe down the inside. This is a battle royale, Farmer. Look at these guys. Look at those two boys behind Stephen now. Yes, as he lets, so, yeah. he's, he's actually, <laughs> as we flick back from the replay, he's let both of them go by. Is he? Steve O's he just has, not so, wanting a bar of it tonight, mate. So the first, second, and third, fourth position getters are getting a lot of respect 
tonight on track farm. Isn't that awesome to see? Yeah, great to see that the guys have got good presence of mind to realise who's around them and who's in the championship and who's yep. not. And, uh, Absolutely. You know, steve uh, he secured fifth place in this championship. He has. Um, that's not much that's going to change for him tonight. So, uh, you know, he's got a wise head about him. Who was that on the infield there, David? Was that the car of Ashley Pettigar? Uh, in the blue, was it? Yeah, I think maybe just gone back a few spots. Spots there. Oh, okay. He's in behind. Uh, just yeah, 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 a little look. Oh, he's just backed out of it too, Dave. Uh, so he's letting a few of the boys go past. He's letting a few of the boys go past, like we were just talking about, yeah. Yeah, and he, well, well, he did sneak onto the infield there, quite rightly there, Farmer, but just let a few of those fast guys go through because there is a couple of really hard, uh, very close points battles going on throughout the field. Let's just get back up the pointy end here. Let's kind of two through. minds about that, uh, Dave. Oh, that I, move, yeah, I know, yeah, oh, yeah, I know, I mean, Farmer, I know if, your thoughts on this. If they're both behind you and you're not impeding them, carry on. You and, know, but, and, um, it's, and it's all points, mate. It's it is, like, it is all points. Who and, did he um, just let pass there, Steve? As long as you don't get between them, I say it's game on. Um, if you get yourself between them, then sure, uh, you know, maybe, maybe think about letting it go back to something sort of even for those two guys. But yeah, uh, if they're both behind you, uh, for me, Davo, it's game on. Yeah, it's not a thing, is yeah, it? That's uh, exactly right. Yeah. Okay, so you heard it from the horse's mouth, <laughs> right there. No pussy stuff on track, right, guys? <laughs> Fight it to the end. Yeah, don't be known as that guy. You don't, will you, expect it from you, you next time. If you're going to keep doing that, you yeah. don't want to be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome stuff here as we see McIndo getting plenty of pressure. Plenty of pressure behind him from Glenn Wire. Glenn's got all sorts of things to think about with John McDonald right behind him. Where is Jake McC in fourth position? He's in front of that battle and that's exactly where he wants to be, isn't it, Farmer? Yeah, it is, but uh, the car of Nick is right behind him, Davo, so um, but he's... There's, only, there's only one point separating those two cars at the moment, and Jake needs three. Yeah, uh, I know, but he's, he's got he's got, he's got got um, McDonald and Glenn Dwyer behind him. They are going to come past. Yes, that is true, and I'm just going to go and just have a look. So if those guys do happen to end, Ooh, end here even we go. points... Um, here we go, into the hairpin. McKellar on Robinson. Nice work from McKellar. He's got the inside at the top of the hill. He is back a little bit. He is back too, way too far. And who's that behind him? McIndo. Like you said, Farmer. It's getting tight. It's getting tight at the top. Yeah, it is getting tight at the top, and uh, yeah, those two uh, cars here of Glenn and John are, are um, I mean, they're right there, aren't they? They've, oh. they've certainly caught up to these guys. Yeah. Well, they're, they're um, only half a second between themselves, and uh, <laughs> there's not much, not much further than that behind these two. So, like, it's nearly a four way battle here. We literally have first, second, third and fourth all sitting on the same 50 metres of track here at the moment that it doesn't get much tighter than that at the end of a championship farmer yeah exactly mate hey seriously look at that that is that is some awesome stuff right there yeah awesome effort some great racing from uh oh, from sure. four yeah. throughout the whole series to yeah. be in this position and showing us again tonight you know why they're up there so yeah definitely and, and we talk about it, I know I've talked about it over the, over the series, and even given the, the interesting uh, configuration of the series, to try and mix things up, the cream will rise to the top. It you know, does. Given the yes. chance, it, it will rise to the top. And, and yeah, these boys, is it? But hard fought, 
hard fought. These guys worked hard <laughs> for that. So, where they don't usually, as we see, Dwyer, and it looks like. Glad very Look, decisive, wasn't he? he and was McDonald. Seth McDonald going through as well. Yes, McDonald also on McIndoe. Oh, so there's a couple of extra points there for Jake, uh, as it stands, yep. mate. Uh, yep. Not sure that this will be how it finishes, obviously. Well, there's more to come from he's, us, buddy. It, he's the next one in the firing line. There is there's more to come from this, uh, this battle, I tell this you. This battle, yeah. well, we've got just a little under 20 minutes to go, so there's plenty more action to come in this final round. Uh, Farmer. Again. Jake's got a little run on Brad there too, mate, just out of the chicane. And I'm not sure if we can keep it around the outside through here. That'll give him the inside. Oh, into... it's tight. And he lets it go. And Cleno's yes. in there. John Glenno's McDonald's in there. in there. Look at that. Here we go. In there. It's back. They're all in there. <laughs> They're all in there. They all want a bit of it. And they all got him, Davo. That's four cars. That just there you go. Bam, bam, bam. through a set of two left-handers there uh, through the Ravata. Uh, the Ravata. And onto the front straight there. Yeah, well done by those boys just getting those tail in there and oh, really just hang them out to dry. And like we just... And John, like, John McDonald, mate, straight down the inside of Glenbro. Oh, one. yeah, and, and it's still on. What's this face? Valley cam, just watch this from above. <laughs> oh, mate, these guys are on. Now, we, look, it's we no only just, here, we no, just no. touched on this. Like, given the, the guys, the, how close the points are between these four cars, this is awesome stuff. It's exactly what we need. I know, he's not going to give up that too easily. Oh, runs a little bit wide, just gets up the back of McDonald at the top of the hill. He's pushing hard, Farmer. They are pushing hard. McDonald, they, McDonald, he hasn't got enough, has he? One position's way not no, enough. No, he needs 10 points. No, he's not going to have uh, five. He needs five positions. He needs, he needs to have him. Like an <laughs> malfunction or an internet shut down or something, doesn't yeah. it? And you know yeah. that's not going to happen. And even then it'll be tight, so... Um, okay. No, no, that's pretty Just much in the no, bag. No, what no, I do find Davo. very Stop interesting, it. though, Davo, is uh, Jake McCallum, Nick. So Jake uh, is currently three points behind uh, Nick. He's three positions in front of Nick at the moment which yes. puts them uh, dead even on points, Davo, but on count Ooh. back, the Nick McIndoe car has had two first place in this championship, so uh, oh, it will default it, to Nick if, if it, it does evens go up. to a tie. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, of course, everything we mentioned tonight, Davo, is preliminary pre- Oh, absolutely. Uh, and and totally, uh, totally unofficial. Position point. It's it's totally just, unofficial, but... Uh, it's just me and Farmer. Know, <laughs> yes, yes. Um... Uh, and of course, we did uh, see lap one incidents uh, in the first race, so um, unsure what may, what may come off that day, but uh, we're just well, going to call as it well. as we see it uh, at, at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Radio. Oh, this is on. This is so on. Jake McCallum, John McDonald. Yeah, now Jake really needs to keep John behind him. Uh, 15 minutes to go. Got it in him, though. Yeah, like I think, John, I think. Well, I think we saw Jake come on strong at the end of race one. So, um, you know, if he's he, if he can just carry that through, oh, he's under pressure, Dave. He's making errors. Because well, like, like in race one, we did see cars shine early, earlier than rather than later in the race, and some of the cars came on strong at the later half the At race, the later so, end, yes. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, like, you're just not quite sure what these go. There's no pit stops here, so um, just not quite sure how these guys are rolling, just keeping on their lap times. We did... Uh, but all we, very nice, close stuff. Yeah, we did hear John, the, the car of John Boy, say that it was just very good to drive, wasn't it? He didn't, yeah. Uh, he didn't sort of have any... 
early or late. Yeah, uh, and I, I think. There, but yeah. But Jake, Jake doing a great job, mate. Uh, you know, he's done absolutely, this for, for a couple of laps now. He's, you know, you've only got another seven or so to go, Jake. Uh, and right behind Aaron and right, so he possibly has a position in front of him as well, um, given the right conditions. But let's look at the back of Jake McKellar's car, of <laughs> Tom McDonald and Glenn Dwyer. These guys are chasing, like we were just talking about, they're 10, they're 10 points apart, first and second in the championship, but you know, these guys are race to the end, uh, both big characters and uh, big parts of um, the OSRZ community. Look at him, here you go. First and second farmer, it's awesome. Yeah, awesome, currently running fourth and fifth here on yep. the track. Uh, Maxwell Hawking still doing a great job holding out the field. Aaron Enright 2.6 seconds behind. And then these guys uh, coming right up, I assume they're, they're there, aren't they? They're behind Aaron now. So, yeah. Uh, and of course, all running similar lap times there. And the sort of mid 51s. Um, yeah, Aaron's pace was in the 52. So, yeah, no, these guys will probably make their way past that car of Aaron. And John McDonald. Oh, John McDonald with a really He's got work to do. Big he's dog. It oh, he's got it done. And Glenno. Watch Glenno. He's going to want to get in there. He's going to get a bit of... Oh. Nice work from... <laughs> from Jake to hold Glenno out there. Yes. Farmer. Because you, Jake, you can't... Jake's not going to want to link Glenn. He oh, here we go. Here, here we go. He's worried about his own, isn't he? But yeah, uh, and it's and it's cars between him, and, oh. there, and there it goes. And there it goes. Oh. Really getting it, getting it right down the side there. Really oh. good move there on Jake, and he had nothing he could do about it, David. No. And that's the left neck right onto his bumper, which is not what he wanted at all. Aaron Enright, all of a sudden. From uh, four cars, Devo, that yeah. weren't in his mirrors uh, a few laps ago. So. Yeah. Uh, just a quick replay of Leno getting past. Jake, oh, yeah, like you said, that's, n that's not where Jake wants back and go. Or <laughs> it's, not, it's not the order, but look how close these guys are. Oh, Glenn having a look. The Aaron mistake, mate. Uh, out of the dip. So both of the front runners, um, championship front runners, in front of him right now. We have Mikella Macado bringing up the back there. Yeah, and uh, we Nick might just pop up. Actually, change there, does it, David? Nick could just pretty much follow Jake to the podium here, and uh, pretty well, and, and secure the third at the champ. He'll he'll know that. Um, that's almost done and dusted prior to anyone having some sort of error or a big off throughout this last eleven minutes, Davo. Um, will. John McDonald and Glenn catch Maxwell. I'm going to keep an eye on those late times, Steve O. Uh, and, and, and what gain do they get from doing that? Uh, well, it's all about bragging rights, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> for the, for the duration until <laughs> the next race, isn't it? Really? Of course it is. Of yes. course it is. Yeah, but a bit of street cred. Uh, it, it, and, even and though the, the next yeah. race might be in 2022, I'm exactly. sure it, it'll exactly. get mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one to actually win, isn't it? Because this is the one that will live on. Yeah, oh, of course yeah. I won the last race. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, awesome. These guys are going harder. Look to see. It. Look like Jake McKellar almost drifting into the, the the left hand at the top of the hill. These guys are gonna. Oh, Nick, way wide. 
way wide at the bottom of the hill. These guys are going to run to the end, no matter their points, I'm sure, as John McDonald, as we get back up the front, and Glenn Wire will as well, Farmer. Um, race yeah, to the end, mate, isn't it? It's just it like, is a race yeah, to the end. Don't, don't back stay. down, don't stay down, just uh, keep, keep fighting. Yeah, John will know that, uh, you know, he's not going to be able to... He, he'll, he'll want to beat Glenn on track, at least for the last race. Yeah. He's, he's not going to get him with the yeah. championship yeah. now. It'll, so it'll so be the a... next best thing is to beat him on track, isn't it, for the last race. So uh, that'll be about all he's got left to... Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a little sort of goal the, there. The, 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 the little consolation micro prize. Goal. Little consolation yes. prize. <laughs> and I get it. Oh, as we see Glenno. Right up beside him. He's made a little tiny error into the chicane. Oh, they're going to they're they're gonna gonna, go two they, by two here. It's not over yet. glenn has got the inside. He's going to get the chicane. Isn't he, Dave? He, yeah. Oh, what a shame. Good move. See Good for, driving, guys. If we get back 30, do we catch it? Here we go. Here it is. We got well, it. Well, it's come from an error from John. Oh, yeah. It? John uh, running wide. Through he? one and two. And glenn yep. just got the Massive run there. Yeah. And almost went up the back of John. Uh, yeah, had to move away. And then side by side through the next three corners, basically, Cleno inside into the hairpin. John must concede. He's got nothing. All he's got to do is try and run out of the corner quicker. There you go. John McDonald with Jake McKellar right up behind him. Uh, Nick Mackin. Now in fifth. Fifth place, yep. All right behind the car of Jake. These two have caught up onto the back of these guys. And uh, it has allowed Maximum Hawkins just to spread that gap out in front it has. a little bit it has. too. Dave O'Brien up a second and a bit. Um, just drop back here to Brad Robertson, Steve Crossland, Crossland. Down in the final couple of complex colours. And we've also got Absi in on that battle. Let's have a look at that. It's all happening. Roberts Crossland, Absi. Yeah, another close little battle, Devo, for uh, <clears throat> what are we, seven, eight, nine here? Yep. Um, currently. Brad, I think, and Apsi both in the points in the championship as well, Farmer. So. Yes, yes, they were, Davo. Uh, Pete currently in seventh for the champ, Brad at nine. So, yeah, no, it's still. Uh, still a battle going on there. Still a little bit to play for, bud. Yep. And we'll just pop. Looks like Rossi's to, starting to clear out of those guys actually now. Yeah. There. Just need to nick back here to the Jake McKellar McIndo battle. Getting very close with a little over six minutes to go, Farmer. Yeah, there'll be three laps left after this one, Davo. So um, I was just going to keep an eye and see whether our mate Maxwell Hawkins can stay out of front there on his current lap pace so he did manage to gain a little bit in the last lap because those made yep. that error so um, yep. Glenn there now with a clean lap behind him he'll be going for the win still Davo oh, oh well we you of know course, it you know you it. know he's only three seconds behind uh, Maxwell at the moment so yep. three three laps to go he's certainly probably going to get onto the back of him uh, at the least so McDonald, just right in tow there, though, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And uh, so Glenn there, 17 quicker that lap round, so that would equate to another 2.1 seconds. It's 3.3 behind, so... Go Maxwell. Go Maxwell. Run, Rabbit, run. Run, run because <laughs> as the stats tell us, you'll actually make it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
So just looking at it back at those car here. You see this trainer cars? These are first, second, third, fourth in the championship. Maybe not in that respective order, but these four cars here, you can see in front of you, out of the front of Macado's car, completing himself, are the top four in the championship. Farmer, this has been an awesome series, brother. Yeah, it has been, uh, it's been a good one, Davo, and uh, uh, something I probably would have enjoyed myself, actually. Um, I think driving with different cars around uh, some of my favourite tracks, but uh, <laughs> some some of my not so favourite tracks too that I that I didn't really mind. Uh, or maybe not so favourite cars either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but uh, you know, yeah, it was a great uh, great sort of series with uh, a lot of variety. And, and, and obviously oh, one for a sure, first friend sure. as well, Brian, and so um, it was a great idea, and uh, you know, it was... Uh, and oh look, and it's really delivered, I think it's not only just a great idea, but it, 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 it's actually delivered as well, so um, yeah, big fan, personally, for a guy that doesn't race too much these days, uh, the reverse grid racing was always a great memory for me. It was always awesome, and uh, it's been f just excellent to watch throughout the series. Uh, you guys have just really uh, made it work. So, this the usual, the usual hip and shoulder, as you'd expect. But uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff to watch, and great to commentate. So, yeah, nice work. Glenn Dwyer, he's, oh, he's, How's he's, that gap now? How's that gap? He's eating, has he? He's, he's, he's eating a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, but anyway. McDonald, McDonald coming with, though, like, absolutely pushing um, Glenn Dwyer as well. McKellar, Macando. Look at these boys. You know, I can't give them enough credit, Farmer, you know? Really awesome stuff. Yeah, awesome stuff, and uh, just noticing Maxwell there, obviously really feeling the pressure as he drifted <laughs> he, well wide. Do you think he's the um, sort of guy that watches his, watches yeah. his timing? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, obviously you think... looking, he is, he's looking at his gauges, isn't he? And, he's uh, looking at the timing. You, you know, you've just got to focus on that apex ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. And nine times out of ten, you'll actually hit it. Um, if you start looking around your screen, Dave, or in your mirrors, but no, I you, mean, it's, it's easy to say, but it's not so easy to do, is nah. it? Because I'm, you know, I'm a little bit of a sucker for it myself too, and you yeah. do find yourself under pressure. And uh, you know, you think you can just try that a little bit harder, and of course that makes it, then you make a little error. Yeah, and then you try harder, then you look at your data. <laughs> and you go backwards. And then yeah. the next, next sector, you're going backwards. <laughs> 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 so we got Lord, look a minute yeah. and a half to go. They will run another lap actually after this, won't they, Farmer? They will, mate. I think there'll be this one and one more. Uh, Davo or oh, shit, thirty, fifty. Oh, it's, you know, it's going right down to the wire, Davo. Maxwell like, on point. I just had to back there. Look at Ashley Rediger and, and Steve Melling. Really, really close. Ah, uh, there. Two. Melling a little bit wide. Let's oh. go back. Yeah, Maxwell. Uh, he's just getting reeled in. Farmer, get the abacus working, mate. Flick I've got beads. it working. Davo, they're going to cross the line right on the timer, okay. right on the zero. <laughs> I, it's <laughs> going to be split second shit, mate. I've got split, this down. Split second. We've got to round down yes. to a half a bead on it the is. abacus. I'll tell you this. Maybe a tenth of a bead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the more errors that Maxwell makes, the more, uh, the oh, more time that we gain. Because so. he starts to defend uh, now. As he starts to defend, clearly starting to defend, Glenno, they run to the final couple of corners. This could, could run. This could, could this run another a, lap. Could it go again? Ten uh, seconds. Ten seconds, people. Nine, I eight, know. seven. This is going to go. Two, one, there it is. All right, man, the leader is on the final lap. 
Final lap. Won the game. Won the game. Super close there on the timing. Super and they just close the stuff. Line to get that extra lap. Hawkins has got to do it for one more. We're gonna he'll, just, be, he'll be disappointed. To take he away. will. <laughs> that would have rattled him, I reckon. Probably would have. <laughs> now he's going to go back to the rear view mirror. <laughs> As we will too, and we'll start looking out of the back of Maxwell Hawkins' car. He's running a first position. He's got, uh, oh, Leno. Oh, Leno. Leno, take it to the grass. John trying to capitalise on that. Doesn't make it happen. Back to the onboard. Ooh. Jake's yeah. got a Jake's got a bit of a stretch on. Good stuff on there. I mean, uh, first glance here looked like Hawkins had that covered, mate. Uh, there was no track down that side. Was there, there? there was, there was <laughs> nothing out there. <laughs> Look and, at these boys uh, go hard. You know, he he started in P2 and he and he got the pass done on Enro right early on, and he's just got half a lap to go, Davo. Yeah, half. Not even that. Farmer and I look, I love the guy's attitude. To all these boys, Ooh. just right to the end. It's no. Oh. Are we getting this, Davo? Oh, we're getting this. We are getting right this. Here. And McDonald's got past. McDonald's sweeps them both up, mate. Glenn A looked like he might have just. This is the final turn, mate. The back of Max. So we go. Oh. It's on McDonald. In front of Glenna. In front of Maxwell. Ooh, just like that, David. Just like, space of just a couple of bam, bam. The final lap. It all turns around. Uh, Big Fourth yeah. position. Hawkins we gutted. He went from first to oh. third there. Oh, oh, oh. Awesome pressure. Great, great final lap, mate. That was good to watch. Nick back and Aaron and right, six. Steve Crossland, mate, just comes out of nowhere. He's been here for five seconds. Get seven. Brad Robinson, Ashley Reddick at nine. Steve Mellon, ten. I thought Steve-O was up further than that. Beat absolutely 11. Danny Simpson, 12. And Gunther. Uh, Gunther, I can't click on him. Gunther's gone. Oh, is he? No, he's gone. Okay, so there we go. Farmer. Wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, good stuff, David. What, good what, stuff. What a, f a great finale uh, to the series. It's really close racing from all of the. Like we just watched, we, like we just told you, uh, everyone, over the, the two races first, second, third, fourth in the championship, all racing in cl close succession. Throughout the the the, uh, the two races here at Emma tonight, we are going to go to some interviews, Farmer. I think yeah, it's about that grab, time. Uh, sorry, mate, I was fucking there because it's left and right hey, here. You're you're still counting points, so we can just uh, go back to points. Give you a couple more. Uh, I'll, we're good, I'll, mate. I can we're good. ramble. I can ramble. We did grab Maxwell <laughs> Hawkins down here. Now let's do this, buddy. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, bring him in, Maxwell. Channel. Congratulations, yeah, like. buddy, or commiserations, uh, as it was, with only a few turns to go there. Oh, man. And, um, and almost not having to run that last lap, too, mate. It was right yeah. down to the wire on the timer, and almost feel if you had it just lifted there, the race might have ended. <laughs> and you... oh, I know, I know. I was, I was so nervous because I, I had like four seconds to Glenn, and I was like, it comes down to under a second. Yeah, I don't. He catches I quick, doesn't he? Oh, shit, yeah, I don't know where he gets that pace from. I was doing PBs, he was doing almost and 150s. He was, he was getting you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah that nice was a great drive, mate. We were you watching. Were... Farmer's still working on the app because. I am actually. He's, I'm trying to do the we're, points we're, really here. I'm sorry about that. We're quickly uh, trying to calculate points here. But we were definitely watching that battle, Maxwell. Oh, yeah, and, it's just... yeah. Top work, mate. Eh? Cause Thank you. Those two guys behind you, they had the eyes on. They were they were fighting hard. They both wanted um, not only that first position in the race, but uh, that position in the championship. And uh, yeah, good work to hold yeah, them out you. again. So, how was the car? You like the yeah, engine? I it was fantastic. Um, if you saw that start, I 
I jumped, uh, who was that? Ash, right at yep. the start. Felt Nailed really it. wicked out of the first three laps. Yep. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, awesome stuff. Well, yeah, um, fantastic race, mate. Yeah, good shot, bro. Um, Shout out to all the admins, you guys, of course, for hosting this season. It's been a, it's been a great season. Um, yeah, well, look, we, we've been thinking it's been a great season too. It's been awesome to watch. I like the format. So, um, yeah, we've, only, we've been talking about it all night and, uh, yeah, awesome stuff. So we're glad you, you enjoy it as well. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So definitely mix it up and, um, yeah, nice work, man. Well, hopefully we hopefully we'll yeah, see sure, you back bro. here and, um, next, next year. Oh, and shit, yeah. Do, yeah. Throughout the break. break. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For, some, yeah. for some fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. and I'll, I'll, out, mate. I'll be back. I'll be back, mate. So oh, back. oh, yeah. So, yeah, you'll have someone <laughs> to, to chase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Oh, Cheers, right. mate. Thank you. <laughs> okay. See you, mate. See you, Max. So you awesome. Just uh, trying to talk it up, Davo, but yeah, you do get older, and uh, these young could... punks do come through, don't they? Oh, these young punks, yes. And I can tell you were concentrating because <laughs> you went really quiet on me there. So. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I have worked out the points now. We are in full concentration mode. We will grab <laughs> the second place getter into the race. Uh, he's a good conversation there. Well done, uh, Glenno. Yeah, cheers, boys. Cheers. I was actually just having a moment there, um, Dave. Maybe we should kick him out and bring him back. Yeah, yeah we can kick him out. We can oh. kick him out. <laughs> bring him back. Because uh, we're about to bring him yeah, back no. in later no, on, aren't fuck we, off. as well? Fuck or, off. Uh... No, physical. Physical. <laughs> okay. He'll, okay. He'll, de he'll deal with that. No, Thank good you. work. Good work for second, but we, we will have you back here. Righty, yeah, moment, yeah. So. I, don't, I don't know how that one looked on the camera, mate, but that I felt like that race had a bit of everything. Oh, it looked pretty bloody, yeah, it did. Pr it pretty did. bloody good from here, mate. I'll tell you, it did actually, yeah, yeah, um, yeah shot, bro. Uh, we might just grab you back in a minute, yeah, eh? yeah, no, yeah, a bit of a no, countdown. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna grab a beer, yeah, yep. can you Sweet. just sit in the corner quietly? Yeah, 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 you got yeah. the yeah. card for the I'll be Yep. Okay, mate. Yep. User was moved out of your channel. Uh, okay. okay, sorry. That, that Let's just, get our brain yeah, on in there, Davo. Uh, there's no two. point doing first and second because we're going to get them in the championship. Yes. Let's bring in the third place for the championship. Yes. Uh, overall tonight. User was moved to your channel. Nick McIndo. Mr. Well McIndo. Welcome, buddy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. You, you don't actually sound that uh, out of breath, mate. Was that not a hard drive for you there, or...? <laughs> oh, that one, I, was, I just knew where I had to be. I just sat behind Jakey, and, um, yeah. yeah. My car wasn't wasn't amazing, um, so, yeah. I think we did mention that uh, you really just needed to follow that car home. Um, oh, you yeah. would have known the points and where you needed to finish it in, in, uh, relative to that car. And you actually had him on countback too, but if the oh, points true. had, had I was wondering to yeah. die. Oh, Farmer far yeah, far was so, noticing the numbers. Um, we, yeah. yeah, we had you with both bases. So, you know, well done, boat. You know, you stuck it out. Yep. Um, and a good race. Uh, awesome. Nice a good, tight, yeah, yeah, nice a couple of good some races. Close stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was. I was just watching JB and um, Glenn battle it and um, going through the field. And, yeah, it looked like a good race. Um, I had a more entertaining first race, but, yeah. <laughs> that one was a better follow the leader. Yeah, it was, it was just so good. You got tangled up early on, didn't you, in the first race, mate? Yeah, uh, I got. I you got came fenced. back through. Yes, fenced. Um. <laughs> Put in the bags, whatever you want to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of lap one instance there, which we're not sure what the outcome will be oh, on there, mate. But uh, we're right. just doing our own. Uh, we're Pelemin doing our own, uh, preliminary. preliminary, preliminary results here tonight. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but as you read them. It's generally not your fault when that does happen. Um, no. So, well, yeah, but... Um, no, but we, 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 we did you watch know? your battle all the way through the, the night, mate. Eh? Oh, we yeah. did. Cool. We did, you actually. Guys, yeah, we did hey, keep an eye on you. You guys too. were on our radar the, yes. the whole night. So, um, yeah, it looked like a tough battle. And race, just really good to see race two, just like we had, you know, First, second, third, fourth position in the championship, all in a line, you know, like <laughs> maybe not in the right order, but it was all yeah. happening, you know, like, and that just 
showed how the format of racing you really sort of kept. Yeah. Yeah, you know, sure. like it was it was awesome to watch. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I was good just going to say, did good you did you enjoy that series, mate? Or um, I actually did. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, good. And like yeah. it looked good, like it looked good from the outside in. No, it's cool. You, yeah. you turn up, um, you do, at a different track, you're at a di in a different car. No one's gets a, a gain by a big a big advantage anyway. Yeah, yeah. 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 By yeah. a discrepancy in a car or yep. somebody that tunes the shit out of a car. Week um, after week. Week yes. after week. Yes. Yeah. No, I I enjoyed it. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. awesome stuff, mate. Yeah, it was definitely awesome to watch up here, man. Hey, we really enjoyed it. Hey, far more so. Yeah, sweet. No, no, good work, and uh, yeah, hope to see uh, like I suppose over the Chrissy break for some fun stuff if you're, if you're not busy with the fam, and um, yep. obviously next year, oh, 22. Definitely. Yep, I'm all set up now. I've finished building my house, so I can race now. <laughs> Shot. That's right, what buddy. we want to hear. That's what we want to yeah. hear. Yeah. All right, we build, look forward to seeing you. Build next the year, spaces mate. in <laughs> yes. lifestyle. That's yes. the one. That's, That's the it. one. Uh, good work, man. All right, and cheers to you boys for calming it the whole time. Ah, oh, yeah, like we love a, it. It's a good listen uh, on a Friday Friday night or whatever, or whatever the boys do. But yeah, it's yeah. good. Cool. Thank you. Uh, God, bro. Appreciate it. Thanks, Nick. All Thanks, right. man. Cheers, boys. Okay, mate. Later, bro. See ya. User was moved out of your time. Okay, who? Uh, look, who? Do, where do we okay. go? Where do, where we, do we go? go? We're gonna where do go we go? Back. We're gonna go we're gonna fourth. Go, we're gonna go. Nah, we're, nah, we're flagging. Okay, flag and force. Sorry, yeah. Jake. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. Sorry, Jake. You know, look, you either get on the podium or you don't. Know. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Well, you okay, got to so, cut the line somewhere, Davo. Right here. Uh, so we're we're going to go second in the champ, but yep. first in the you last race. First uh, in the last race, second in the champ. Second in the champ. Yeah, well done. Well done. Uh, John Boy, congratulations, Woo mate. Yeah, yeah, like, awesome last race, mate. W lovely uh, bit of uh, optimism, sort of chance move oh, on the final awesome. lap. Bro. Awesome race. And, uh, you know, great awesome vision race. to sort of take that two posies at the last couple of corners Mate, box for the seat. win. That, that um, was, it was great yeah. watching that all unfold, and it was like, oh, yeah. if they time this right and they have a little bit of closeness there, I might be able to just, just get that run. And Yeah, sure they enough. did. They had a little bit of a... A little bit of a touch up there, and it was just enough that it managed. You got both of them, though. Yeah, you, well, you can't slow you know, down was, too much. Great. Don't no, you? no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> hard in it, mate. Uh, but what was crazy was, I think, Max, we went across the line with like about half a second to go. Yeah, mate. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I think if Max yeah, and I had just lifted watching. it before the line, <laughs> yeah. would have, he would have won it. And we, 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 we actually won just mentioned that to him <laughs> in his interview. We told him he should have lifted and. Uh, yeah, he almost would have won the race with one to go, like you say. Yeah. Unreal, though, but Super like, close. Is it, that's how you end the championship, isn't it? It must have been isn't, great. Isn't great it to watch. what? Isn't it what, mate? And I totally agree with you, mate, Dave. Eh? We've just been uh, talking to the boys as we drag them up into the comms box here, and everybody just loving it. And uh, yeah, some good, good oh, mixed up stuff. And, and like tonight, the last race was epic. Farmer, wasn't it? Like yeah, the last race was probably one of the highlights of the season, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah all you done. four guys. With you four guys. Well, yeah, four yeah, second, yeah. first, second, one, third, fourth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? All of you, all of you are there. Yeah, you all was together. One, one part of the race there where I think you could, we could see Jake and um, Nick battling, and uh, I was thinking, well, I don't really want to get involved with that because <laughs> we were sitting behind him. Um, yeah. Yeah, but, but but you got the pressure. But you got to you, you got, yeah. to, you got to perform, and uh, yeah, it's the race two it was the, you guys were out in front, and they were behind you. So it just it was just this big train of like it was good to watch, mate. It was um, really good to watch. So well, glad most, you enjoyed it, and I hope anyone watching the stream enjoyed it too. Most enjoyable, and uh, you obviously pumped about it. Oh, mate, look to race. Um, hard like that all season in different cars and I think a big highlight was seeing a lot of these new guys sticking it out throughout yes, the season definitely. and like, like to Brad and that but um, you know like no blue flags no you know like there's know. No, no lap cars so no. that's, that's uh, it, awesome it to see all the cars was, on the lead lap. It was funny to watch it throughout the whole season too because that's, that's you, a good point you yourself uh, well you, it was yeah. supposed to be like that you so. yourself weren't weren't actually up at the party end 
early on, no. probably for the first half of the we season. We won a race, yeah. Yeah, uh, so you, you yeah. struggled really early on and then just, yeah. Yeah, it came, up, came alive at the end. Yeah. A bit, bit of momentum there, but um, yeah, look, ups and downs, I think, for everyone throughout the season with the format. We are going front to back, back to front, back to back, front to front. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, and the doubling up on the starts. Yeah. Uh, each night, you know, like everybody get, sort of took a lesson from race one, went straight yeah, into race two and, crack. And, and had another go at it, you know, like, which is awesome. You Surely yep. you take lessons from race one and, and, and take them into race two. So, mate, yeah. aw- awesome stuff. But uh, so, so, so proud of all everyone sticking in there for that. And, yes. um, and it was a good, good, good season to drive all these different cars and I go head to head with one of my good mates, Glenn, there. And, um, oh. You know, well, well deserved win to him, and um, I think Nick might have got third there too. So, and, yeah, I think he did. you know, Jake, e- either one of those two them would have deserved that third place. So, yeah, amazing season. Well done to Glenn. Want to have a beer with him? <laughs> we're, we're in level two now. I think we can travel. <laughs> That's it's, awesome, yeah. mate. Hey, look, and look, we might see a little bit more of you around the traps like uh, next year anyway but uh, yep, we won't sure. say too much but we'll definitely see more John Boy next year we're going to boot him out Thanks, awesome mate. work mate thank you I'm going to well grab done, that buddy. whole box there because I know Glenn's a greedy bugger he can yeah. spray champagne I'll have the beers yeah <laughs> take it it's, it's on ice mate go okay. there's the bucket thank you thank see you guys well done see thanks for your comms User was moved out of your channel. Oh, shot there, mate. Da 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 Welcome, bro. Am I allowed back in now? Yeah. Yes. Come on. Come on. Now he has the wreath around his neck. Have my chair, mate. Sit down. Come on. Have I got the I'll go and get in the beer. I'll go and get in the beer. Hang on. Oh, I'll be double. I'll be double parked, Dave. <laughs> that doesn't. Awesome, matter. When did mate. that ever stop you? Going along, yeah. just getting yeah. one. <laughs> I, man, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this um this series and the season. Uh, it's just been just a breath of fresh air to go and do something different. And um, man, I don't know what that looked like on TV that last one, but I felt I ro- rode the emotions of that one. I was nervous as the first race. Um, racing JB, John McDonald is just the consummate professional as far as sim racing. He just pushes you to the absolute maximum every time, man. So I, I commend that guy. Um, and also, um, congrats to Nick on a third as well. Um, yes. That, that, that was a hard like... battle for him. Yeah, awesome. So, yeah, like you, like you say, Dave, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Glenn, uh, it's, it's people like John that really make you up your game and just find that something extra as well isn't it and uh you know makes you that sort of extra bit sort of faster on the night as well and makes you put on that little bit of extra energy and pressure and practice and yeah um, you know so that you are bringing something because you know if you don't he's, he's just going to take it because uh, because yeah. that's what it looked like tonight you look yeah. oh, just... had to keep your game up <laughs> <laughs> to keep just, him at bay yeah it's, it's just his attitude as well like you know like if you think about it mathematically we were coming into the final lap, uh, Maxi in front, I'm having a dip. And then, um, you know, and he knows probably mathematically that the job's probably done from my end, you know, given yes. that it was a 10 point yep. swing. But he doesn't give up. He, you know, like last corner, last no, corner, no. last lap, he's having a go. Well, he, gets, he, he could still win the race. He did. You yeah, know, so. yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah. the point. Yes. So he that's his, his final you. parting, uh, parting. Yeah. <laughs> And we were talking about bragging rights going into the Christmas yep. break for who wins the last race, uh, despite yeah, the winner of the championship. You know, so, uh, he actually pulled it off. He did. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. he's um, he's playing bloody awesome. But as as have you know all the guys. If you you know if you look at tonight, which I'm sure you did, obviously, um, coming through the field, um, the guys are just so good to race around. I mean, yeah. Nick McIndoe, I went side by side twice with him through that first chicane. Once on lap one and then once later on the piece. And I did it with John, I think, as well. And I've just yeah. got so much faith in the drivers here. Um, just so cool to go racing with them. And, um, man, I'm not going to lie that I'm pretty happy that I've ticked that one off because it's been a little while between drinks since I've grabbed a, 
effectively a you know a mate, premier class or mate, and he, he grabbed it grabbed it by the throat right early on too you know like you were right onto it and uh, yeah we, um, we know we know we know when you're into it you know like when you just grab it straight away and you you're on point mate and we just watched it the whole series and uh, like it's not that easy to stay in front in the series especially with you you're gonna drop out there at um uh, where was that? You need a dropout race at nine. Nürbur- at Nürburgring. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, race and, one uh, you at know, you dropped, uh, you dropped 12 points on that one round alone. To yeah. Drop, uh, and, and, credit, and credit yeah. to you. Look, man, and you know, we, we love, you know, stayers, farmer, yep. don't we, Bo? Right? Oh, absolutely. Guys, you, 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 you fucking dropped out years. and you were, you were just firing up the PC again. You're back in there. Fucking race yeah. isn't even over yet, and you're yeah. back in there smashing they, it out. And you know, like, you win your championships on your worst days, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, no, good, good, yeah, credit, credit, mate. So, yeah, and shout out to you, blokes, you know, for putting this on. It's, uh, you know, I know what's involved. I know you guys have a fuckload of fun, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna pump your tyres up too much because I know how much fun it is up there. But I do, you know, and as does everybody that watches this whether it be tonight or on a Friday or whenever, that they really, really appreciate it. And I know you guys, you know, like some of the other guys, so, yeah, thanks to Aztec for all his ongoing support with the stuff as uh, well. You know, we do, we do yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Um, yeah, but, yeah, just, oh, man, I'm just, I just can't wait, you know, to actually get out of this box so I can go and watch this thing. Yes. Um, well, that's right. You, sure. you got to get out yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, well, we'll let you out, mate. Yeah, I uh, appreciate it. We'll get this wrapped up, and uh, like you say, we'll sit down and have a beer and maybe watch it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, yep. Congratulations, awesome, great. Mate. Congratulations, really appreciate man. It. Thanks, guys. Thanks to the community. Cheers, guys. Thanks, mate. Awesome, mate. Good work. User was moved out of your channel. Oh, there you go, Dave. There you go. Season wrap, mate. Season wrap. Uh, uh, sponsors there, bud. Uh, sponsors, maybe. of course. Hang on, I'm going to get my piece of paper again. I'm going to maybe ABC Tech, obviously. For just look, ABC Tech just puts us online. They provide all our servers, and you know, like ASR wouldn't be ASR if we weren't online. And um, ABC Tech does it. Zero Vision continually just, just makes all this stream work right if we didn't have zero vision it wouldn't be working of course and zero um superior joint ceiling for ongoing sponsorship but farmer yes what, Davo. what a season <laughs> and what a what pleasure a season, Davo, man. No, what a pleasure yeah, no. for, what a pleasure um coming with you again Yes, um, we have Please done. Please excuse uh, my grumpiness uh, throughout the season. <laughs> People, a couple of times. A couple, couple of times. times. Uh, you know, uh, obviously, um, it is what it is. We have enjoyed it. Devo, as of course, oh, as al- always. Always, always enjoying it, as you can tell by the laughter. Um, heaps of technical errors, uh, a la <laughs> Devo. Yes. Because I'm, I'm pressing the buttons at the moment, but uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Uh, really enjoy it. Farmer 2022. Who knows what's going to happen? I think we might get uh, a new voice in the in the box. Possibly, possibly a new voice in the comms box. Yes. So uh, everybody can wait for that. Everyone can wait for that. Not to give away much. We have got some stuff in the pipeline, Stevo. So. Uh, uh, there will be something, won't there? Of yes, course. there will be. There will be, and I'm sure you're keen to get back in the seat and go for a bit of a rip. So, um, look, we're just going to leave it there, guys. What, mate, thanks again. It's been yes. awesome, Farmer. Thank you for watching. Always a pleasure. Thank you for watching, viewers. And um, I think we'll just leave it there, mate. Yeah. Good night. Cheers. See you in 2022. Good night.